What's up guys and welcome back to another Luna Classic video. Now it's happened. This channel is finally monetized. And as I explained to you guys in previous videos, I will be donating my first month to Burning Luna Classic. Now, if this does well, I could potentially continue this going forward. But first of all, this first month, we all need to come together and work hard to get this video and the next couple of videos or the whole month's worth of videos, whatever you guys wanna do, as many views as possible. The more views we get, the more ads that are watched the more Luna classic that I can burn and I'm going to show you exactly the back end as I do it so don't worry I'm not going to be taking the money and pretending all of that sort of stuff I'll show you exactly what the channel's made and then I'll burn that into Luna classic showing you guys exactly the process so what you guys can do turn on notifications subscribe turn on notifications like this video right now watch the adverts that come up even if you skip them it's fine just watch a little bit of them and we can keep building towards burning as much Luna a classic as possible. This is very exciting and I'm happy that you guys, I'm happy and really grateful that you guys have helped me here on the journey and I really just want to give back because this is an awesome community that we're building here. Now with that said, I wanted to show you one of the videos on my main channel that got around 770,000 views and this actually had an estimated earnings of around $17,000. So if we can get this video to that many views or maybe even just the amount of views we get this month or whatever it is, then potentially this is the kind of money that we can be burning Luna Classic. Now we can be doing this if this happened on every video, we could do this on every video, but whatever you guys feel, whenever you have time, just watch these videos as much as you can and also turn on those notifications so it gets as much uh, view time as possible and gets pushed out to as many people as possible. On top of that, I have also joined a deal with MexC right now where you can just get yourself $25 worth of free Luna Classic. You just need to follow these rules here, but head down to the link in the description, follow the link and grab yourself the free Luna Classic, $25 worth of Luna Classic. If you guys fancy it, I just thought it'd be cool to give back again. But this is the most important, right? We're gonna push these videos out as much as possible so I can burn as much Luna Classic as possible. With that said, let's go through the news today that you guys need to know to be fully up to date. Remember, nothing in this video is financial advice, right? You know that. So don't make any financial decisions based on these videos. You have to be crazy, 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 crazy to do that. And of course, Luna Classic, meme coins, hype coins, all of that sort of stuff. Crypto in general is a very, 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 very risky space. So don't invest money you can't afford to lose because there is a possibility that crypto itself goes to zero, that Luna Classic goes to zero, that you lose everything that you've invested into this. So please keep that in mind, right? It's very, very risky, this stuff. We can make a bunch of cash, and I think we may make a bunch of cash going into the next bull run, but we can lose it, all right? So overall, the market is up almost 2%, $1.12 trillion, and it's great to see, right? The bears, it's basically, we can laugh at the bears at this point in time because we've done seriously well since $17,000 Bitcoin. People were saying it was going to 10,000 at that point. We still haven't made it there. I do think there will be a little bit more blood coming into the market after we kind of decide what happens in this phase that we're in. But it doesn't mean that the future of Bitcoin crypto isn't bright. Crypto, Luna Classic, all of that isn't bright. We just need to get through this bearish scenario that we're in right now. As you know, right now, we are in a bear trend here right now. This is known as a continuation pattern. Yes, it might be bullish in the short term, and there is definitely trades here to be made. Of course, I actually made a trade here. I added to my short position, which is coming up now to the stop loss. But right now, 2.6% profit, 10x leverage, 26%, 100x would be 260. And if you had a taken profit, like I've been talking about on the channel, you could have made some serious, serious good money. Now, with that said, if you do want to make the best of this market situation, I currently have $10,000 worth of free exchange bonuses down there in the description. So again, you might as well make the best of these bonuses. They're not going to last forever. Exchanges want you to move over to them right now because of the market. And these are all of the best exchanges, in my opinion. You can open up yourself a BitGet account and you can try the demo trading account, get yourself $4,400 in bonuses. You can open up yourself a Binance account and get six hundred dollars in bonuses and of course Binance is awesome right who doesn't love a bit of Binance buy bit four thousand dollars and block fight one thousand dollars so don't so take advantage of the opportunity that's there but right now as we see Bitcoin and the reason why I talk about Bitcoin in the Luna Classic videos is because Bitcoin decides what the market does now we did have this 
bounce off this resistance here, come back down almost to retest this line of support here. We have bounced off it and now is really a deciding moment. Are we going to head up to this resistance again or are we going to get pushed back from where we are now? This could be really a new line of important resistance that we're seeing here at around that 23 23.7 mark right now that's playing out. And if this is rejected, it may not be very good. We do want to hold these levels here. If not, I am potentially seeing another trapdoor moment happening like this. That's why I still have my short position open to make the best of that situation. Remember, this is all short-term speculation. I don't know what's going to happen next. I'm trying to make the best of the situation, but it's all short-term. Long-term, I'm very much bullish on Bitcoin. Even though I have a short open now, doesn't mean I'm not bullish long-term. Again, I'm only using 1% or less of my portfolio for these trades. Now, let's go through the Luna Classic news. Binance main wallet surpassed 2.7 trillion Luna Classic. That's almost 40% of the total supply. I think that this is simply just people's Luna Classic on Binance. I don't think Binance is doing anything with this. I think that they're just... This is just the wallet that holds the Luna Classic because as you know, on a centralized exchange, you don't hold your keys. It's not in one wallet for you, one wallet for someone else, one wallet. All of your stuff is held in one place. And I reckon that that's what this wallet is. I don't think Binance is doing anything. I think they're gonna wait for a while to see how this burn tax happens on chain. And then maybe they'll add it, maybe they won't. Remember, they might not add it because that would be an incentive for people to move to exchanges that actually don't have the tax. Now, if you aren't a lunatic or in the community and you just wanted to sell your Luna tokens because you saw a profit, you'd be better off moving it over to another exchange. And then that way, you won't have to pay the 1.2% tax to sell it. So that's what I'm seeing anyway. We also have TFL currently commenting on the GitHub link. It does seem that TFL were helping with the burn module and bank keeper. Remember what we were saying was TFL had to basically accept the changes, the 1.2% tax and the staking in order for it to work and in order for Terra Station to work else we would have to create a new Terra station, but it does seem like they may be on board, which is very, very good. With that said, lastly, there's a little timeline we have here. August 3rd was the prop 4159, it passed. August 3 to 15 is us waiting for TFL to respond, which we may already have a good response from them. August 26th is the delegation enabled. Early September to mid-September is when the burn tax will be enabled and hopefully we'll start to see that 1.2% burn on chain. Very exciting stuff. Could be good, very good for Luna Classic and you guys as holders, if you are holders or if you're considering getting involved. Remember, dollar cost averaging is what I see to be the best way to go about these things. Don't chase the pumps. In fact, take profits when we see pumps. Don't get caught holding the bag. One way to do these sorts of things is when you invest, when the market pumps, you can take out your initial investment. So if we were to see a 2X here at some point, you could take out your initial investment and then that way you are completely safe. This is how I like to trade myself personally. As you can see, we have reclaimed that one, but we are down just around 0.06 today. And the volume sitting at basically even here at 38 million. Remember, if the price of Luna Classic doubles, we're going to need the volume to double in order to keep up with the burning of the tokens, which is what we want. People are speculating six months to a year to get enough burnt to get to a dollar. Remember, guys, I don't think that's very likely. I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's going to take a lot longer than that, but that doesn't mean that there aren't huge amounts of gains to be made. Just a one cent Terra Classic right now is a 100x from where we are right now. If you put a thousand dollars in, that's a hundred grand. If you put ten dollars in, you can do the math, right? It's still an amazing return and much more possible than a dollar in my opinion. With that said, I do hope I provided you with some value. Remember guys, we need to get these videos as many views as possible. Try and watch till the end of each and every video. Smash up the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn the notifications on, and I'll see you guys in the next one.